This is a really exciting project for us as a band, Citizen Way, to be on because this is the place we started as a band. We did our first show September 2004 and uh, September 3rd, 2004. In and Herrick Chapel. In Herrick Chapel. I called you mm -hmm. to see if we could yep, come I and play. Yep. And you gave us the whole chapel. Mm -hmm. That was our first, you know. What was I thinking? I know, exactly. <laughs> what were you thinking? <laughs> We, we did our first show there. We'll have our 10 year anniversary coming up this yeah. year. And we continued to practice here, up here in the Thompson Center upstairs. We uh, started practicing here. I built this studio. This became our home. We did a lot of demos here. I uh, started making records for other students and pulling kids into a program that didn't yet exist. And they came anyway. And they came, you know, they wanted to be a part of something that was you know, from the ground well, I up. I think because you projected the vision of what could happen. Now, you didn't know it was going to happen. Yeah. I didn't know it was going to happen. But, but we've had long conversations over the last 10 years thinking about if God does this, oh my goodness, what could be possible? And I think what we're seeing is we are seeing what could be possible. Yeah. We're seeing those things that we've talked about for 10 years as being, oh, if the Lord blesses us, we'll go here. Well, we're going here. Yeah. So, so I'm just really stoked by, by where this all could go. Yeah. And, and it's crazy. And this weekend was really special in that regard because we, for the first time, brought somebody from Nashville here to produce a couple songs that are actually going to go on our next record. Um, that will likely show up on the radio. Now we've had, uh, from the studio, we've done vocals from here that showed up on the radio. We did uh, at Aaron Roos' studio, Solid Sound, uh, another of our alums who produced our producer right now, Jeff Pardos, his first record in Wilson Hall, at the end of the hallway down on first floor. Room 116. 116, <laughs> you know, they stacked all their beds on top so they could make a drum closet underneath it, you know. So you give it the old college try and it turns into something to where uh, people start taking notice and I remember living in Volkman just I couldn't sleep at night I'd have to come over here and scrape the paint off the floor because I felt like I had to do something the Lord was calling me to do so I was like no build the ark I'm like what's an ark right. you know <laughs> and I, I remember thinking there's no way I can't do this yet I don't I have no way of knowing how to do this except that I just have to do it and just watching you know my graduating class of three music majors jump to this year we have 59? 60 when you add the minors in there as well. I mean crazy, crazy growth. Yep. And, and I think, it, again, I think it's because people are catching the excitement for what God might be able to do here. And, and we're, not, we're not trying to get ahead of ourselves and we don't want to get ahead of the Holy Spirit's leading and we're going to make some mistakes along the way, but my goodness the energy is moving forward. Um, Ben's dad has a great phrase that he uses for what we're trying to do. He says that you're trying to raise up musicianaries. And I think it's true. I think we want to, as it were, infect the Christian music world with kids who are so passionate and so alive and so desiring to honor God with their gifts that that it just is contagious. But I would love for Judson to be known as a place where students can come who have the gifts, have the passions, and that by God's grace we can help unleash them and their dreams and their vision for um, using their gifts uh, in, in worship settings to lift up the name of Jesus and to have that spill over and over, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Yep. I, mean, I, I think I think we're on the cusp of that. And I honestly see it to I see it here like, you know, kids who hang out in the lobby that were never there before yeah. because the Lord did something. He moved and all we had to do was follow. That's all we had to do. That's our best play in the game is follow the Lord's lead. And and now having Jeff come and do two songs like that. He spoke in class this morning. Uh, the choir's open for Sanctus Real. 
Last summer they opened for the Brilliance, they opened for the Digital Age, they're opening yeah. for Mercy Me's Mercy new Me. CD release show here. Yeah. Uh, and the choir, the, a classically based choir, is opening for a rock band four times in one year. Yeah. I don't know of any band, choir who's ever done that for yeah. one band. Yeah. We've done it four times in the chapel. Yeah. And that kind of stuff is coming because of you know, just being obedient to where the Lord's going. To, yeah. you know, for me at least, starting by getting up in the middle of the night and scraping the paint off the floor because I had to build something, because I knew it was coming. And I was part of a team that, that wanted this to happen. Yeah. And we see these young people raising up to be a part of the churches, to be part of ministries outside the church, to be part of uh, just Christ followers outside the church, and being in music, being in ministry, being a part of the kingdom of God, making an influence, all the while having fun looking out at the creek going by, and the deer walking by as we cut electric guitar tracks. Like, <laughs> it's just kind of how, that's our community here, and we're, we're blessed to have it and be a part of it.